Although your footwear definitely plays the biggest role in avoiding injury, your running apparel will play a large role in your overall comfort. In particular, good running clothing will help regulate your body temperature and minimize any chafing. When we're talking about regulating your body's temperature, we're really talking about your clothing's ability to deal with sweat and protect you from the outside elements like wind and rain. Let's start by looking at how to dress for warm weather. Even though most people wouldn't consider 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius warm weather, we're going to do so because in temperatures above this, you should consider running in shorts and short sleeve shirts. The best shirts for running are close fitting ones made from soft synthetic fabrics that are designed specifically to wick moisture away from your skin and allow it to evaporate quickly. Some of the popular brands are Cool Max and Pro Cool. You'll find these in some of your local stores. Cotton shirts aren't great for running, even though they're soft and they breathe. The problem with cotton is that they hold moisture. That moisture doesn't dry very well, and it causes the shirt to cling and to cause chafing. The same goes for shorts. The best shorts are soft, light, and deal well with moisture, like these from Kraft that are made from a polyester fabric. Most all the shorts come with an inner liner that has a wicking material to pull the moisture away so that you run comfortably. The key is to avoid heavy fabrics and shorts that are so loose that they'll cause chafing to your inner thighs as the miles stack up. Your socks represent another important part of the running equation, even though they generally don't get nearly as much attention. Most athletic socks are acrylic or a cotton acrylic blend, which both do a good job of keeping your feet dry, comfortable, and cushioned. You'll want to avoid 100% cotton socks as they'll stay wet and quickly lead to blisters. Blistering can also be caused by wearing dirty socks, so do everybody a favor and keep your socks clean. And last consideration for warm weather running is how to deal with rainy conditions, because as luck would have it, it always seems to rain on race day. Since it's ideal for your body to stay dry while you run, you'll want a lightweight shell that keeps the rain off, but lets your own body moisture out. Gore-Tex was the first waterproof, breathable fabric, but it's relatively heavy and doesn't breathe as well as some other modern synthetics. There are now some great rain shells for warm weather that are super light and breathable. When temperatures drop below 50 degrees Fahrenheit, you'll generally want to consider wearing a long sleeve shirt with tights or pants. As a general rule, you should feel a bit cold before you start running. That's okay, because your body will warm up by about 20 degrees when you start running. If you feel comfortable just standing around in the cold, then you're probably overdressed. For the same reason that cotton won't work in warm weather, it doesn't work for cold weather either. When it's cold outside, you want a snug-fitting, soft fabric against your skin that will wick moisture away from your body. PolyPro is an old standby and a decent insulator too. In mild conditions, a long sleeve shirt on its own will likely be enough, whereas on cooler days you'll want another layer over top, or even a breathable shell to keep the wind and rain off you. Although it may take some people a while to warm up to the idea of tights, a good pair of running tights really are great for cold runs. Their snug fit will minimize muscle tightness and they keep your legs warm. Tights are usually made from lycra in combination with other soft material. Obviously, the colder the weather, the thicker the pair of tights. In very cold weather, you can wear fleece-lined or Gore-Tex pants over top the tights. And as for socks, your regular socks will likely do the trick. If it's a little cold outside, you might want to consider some thicker socks. If you do choose a thicker sock, be sure to allow enough room inside your shoes. Another piece of gear you probably want to consider for cold weather running is gloves. Something to consider is that you'll want gloves that are small and light enough so that you can just shove them in your pocket while you're running if you don't want to wear them anymore. 